Hi, so this next video is for Wuxia Music Experiment, who asked me to go through the process of signing up for Upwork.com or Prose.com, TranslatorsCafe.com, one of those accounts for freelance translators. So I recently did a screen recording of myself signing up for pros.com from scratch. Pros.com, P-R-O-Z.com is probably the main website, the best website for freelance translators. It's not free. You do have to pay. There are other ones that are free to sign up for. Translatorscafe.com, which is more like a community. And I think Upwork.com, you can still sign up for free. But I do recommend pros.com anyway. And I also wanted to show you the process of how to sign up and how what I recommend doing when you do sign up. I did a screen recording of this. It's for my course, which there's a link to with a discount down in the description below. But I just wanted to show you um, this process. So I hope it helps and I hope uh, it can help you sign up for them because you shouldn't be delaying signing up for these because these are the best places to uh, find clients and to find jobs in freelance translation so you can get your career started. So without any further ado, let's get to the screen recording. Actually, pros.com has been making quite a few changes in recent years and uh, they completely redid the website and they also redid the pricing scheme. So I thought the easiest thing to do at this point would be to walk you through setting up a new account. So first of all, when you go to pros.com, this is what you see. If you're a translator looking for translation jobs at work, then you go here and you click on create free account. Here you can decide if you want to click. At the beginning, I would recommend not clicking on TM Town. You can look into that later. Also, all of these, I, I recommend unclicking them. And then you click on Create My Account. And this is what you get. You get a special one-time offer for $110 a year, and it's normally $120. If you're going to pay for anything, if you're going to pay for any service in becoming a freelance translator, then pros.com is what you want to be paying for. So I recommend at this point just saying, yes, I want in because it makes your life a lot easier. But for the sake of example, I'll click on no thanks just to show you what a free account looks like. And then later on, I'll show you how to uh, pay for the account. Now, there's a lot of information you, you should uh, fill out here. All this requires stuff. The important thing at the beginning, I think, is the uh, language pairs. So that's what I'm going to fill out now. Um, let's put Italian. To English. These are the services you perform and so click on translation that's the important one then you can click on some other ones. Add pair. I'm gonna add a couple just because it gives you more chance of finding varied jobs at the beginning. Anyway you'll see what I mean in a second because I want to uh, be able to show you some examples. English variant let's put US. Italian variant this keep that as it is. So now I have two language pairs. I have a native language and then you, obviously I, at some point I need to fill out all this other information but for now this is enough to look for jobs. Now to look for jobs you click on jobs and directories here and you see job posting system browse job postings. Click on that. And the reason I filled out the languages is because the, um, the default here is to have my languages pop up. Now I can search in all languages or in just a selection of my languages, but here the default is to have it in all my language combinations. So right away I see Italian to English, etc. Obviously each one of these rows is a different job being offered. Now when you see this, it means that only members can apply. So if I click on this, I can see what the job is, but I cannot submit a quote. So I, uh, I need to either wait. Some of them are for members until a certain time, which means members can uh, can apply first. So that's why it's better to be a member. Obviously, there's certain jobs. This one that's a bit and of a different color means it's expired. So see, job is closed, so I can't apply for it anymore. And that's what very often happens. It'll expire before it becomes available to non-members. But let's click on this one. Here we see technical manual trade 6K because it is available and you don't need to be a member. So I can submit a quote. Just quickly while we're here, I'll show you what happens when you click on submit a quote. You see the job description and obviously you should read through it and make sure it's something that's inter interesting for you. Down here, by the way, you see who posted the job and you also see Blueboard record. Now this is interesting. I'll open this as a new tab because we want to come back to this because you can see their rating on the Blueboard. The Blueboard is where other people rate them. 
Because I'm, a, I'm not a paid member, I cannot see who gave a rating and what comments they gave, but I can see that they gave five, 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 five. This person got a lot of fives, and so that's a huge vote of confidence. It means it's a serious provider, it's a serious person, and I can count on doing real business with this person. So if I decide to work with this person, I click on Submit Quote. Let's say Italian to English, let's say that amount. I can say the total or per character, per hour, usually it's per word, you're the currency, and here you can fill out this other information including title. So the interesting thing here under message is that you can fill out a message, I'll just paste something that you know I've used in the past, and then you can decide if you want to save it as a template. You can give it a name here, I wrote general English to Italian, as you saw there save as template. So here in the future, when you apply to future jobs, your templates will pop up. You can have general English to Italian, you can have business translations, legal translations, etc. and you have access to them right away. So you don't need to write them out each time that you have a new job. So it makes it comfortable. And here is the catch for having a free account is that you need to pay one dollar for every job you apply to. Now, once again, I'm going to open this in a new tab because actually I think you can only add $20 at a time. So deposit the funds in your wallet or you can apply for membership. I'll show you that later. Now, let's say you want to deposit the funds in your wallet. There, here we go. It's $20 at a time and um, which allows you to apply for 20 jobs. Now, obviously $20 is less than 110. So if you feel tentative, you don't want to spend the full amount, you can always apply for jobs this way. However, I recommend paying the full amount up front because in my experience, you get that full amount back and then some. Because when you're applying for these jobs, you're competing against many other people applying for these same types of jobs. This job came up recently, so it's only six quotes, but this one has 97 quotes. All these are contact directly, these are past deadline. This only has four, which actually seems somewhat odd. Um, and it might be because the rating isn't too high for this person. This one has 18 though, 32, and contact directly, etc, etc. Now, if you do want to get, get a paid membership, you click on your profile here, or actually you just hover above it, you don't have to click on it. And you see I have a free account now, but I can click on upgrade account, putpros.com, now it has a whole lot of information, you can just click on buy now, it goes straight to what they have available, and it's 120 or 180. Skip the plus for now, uh, for now, just do 120. Uh, you know, after a while, you can see if it's worth it to get the 180, or if they've you know changed it again, and there's some other options. But for now, just the 120 is what you can do. And in my experience, actually, you can still get the discount to make it 110. See, it's still minus 10 dollars, so it's 110. But again, 120, 110, the difference isn't that much, and um, I do think it is worth it because. You're, you're able to apply for as many jobs as you want and, um, and you don't have to worry about paying for each job or you know whether it's for members only or not. At the beginning especially, you're gonna to have to apply for quite a few jobs before they start noticing you. At this point, you just fill out the information. And so that's how you sign up for pros and how you either stay as a free member or you pay for membership. So if you find this video useful, please, uh, please click like and uh, please feel free to share this video with anyone else you think uh, will find it useful and subscribe for more videos like this uh, that help out freelancers, freelance translators and people like you. Thanks. Bye. Hi, so this next video is underlit.